Why Yandere Simulator? Why is that the comparison you made? Gamer girl, I need to fucking sip. That was a lie. We're not done yet. Oh. All of them are fucking idiots. Let's talk wait, about them. Wait. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> My brain is like racing now. It's your intro. <laughs> <laughs> is my guilty boner. Does molecular attract the kind of people that are into serial killers? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's still bigger than a city. It's more than one planet. Percy Jackson is Greek mythology fanfiction. Boneless. <laughs> oh my god. I, I no. want the no. no. How about you and I build a cosmic horror creature? Okay. Yeah. So let's spend some time. I'll let you start. So let's spend some time just creating something terrifying. All right. What are we thinking? Well, since we are dipping into our greatest fears, or since since it's fear of the unknown, we can start with the setting. All right. So All right. let's let's do the ocean. The ocean's a classic. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. So let's say that we find our protagonist out in the middle of the Pacific. And okay. let's say that they dip their, you know, let's say that they're, you know, they're slowly starting to drown. And then as soon as they've dipped under the surface, they see something. It's not a shark. It's not a giant fish. It's not anything remotely close to um, things beyond comp or things within our comprehension it gets a split second of it what do we what does he see yeah what do they see or they get let's say let's say they get a full minute a full minute yeah which I know is I know is territory baby yeah (laughs) it's not I know a full minute is probably not you know, that probably doesn't make sense, but they're going to die anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, what does this creature okay, look so like? Okay, they're, so if they're deep in the water, they would probably... All right, so they, they're deep in the depths of darkness. They might not get, like, a perfect glimpse of what, they're, what they might be looking at. Mm-hmm. But maybe... I don't know, maybe... <sighs> It's hard coming up with a with a cause with a with a creature like on the spot. I've I've designed three horror monsters and they all took me like a like a like a like a good day to come up with. <laughs> okay, well um, then let's 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 uh thing let's build it like piece by piece. So like first of all, is it huge? It would have to be. It impossibly large is the word that okay. Lovecraft loves to use. It impossibly large. All right. Is it humanoid? So it has a head, torso, arms, legs. It's probably maybe it's like something that we could identify as a human at first, mm-hmm. but not something that like we would ever characterize as humanoid. All right. Let me look up some. I'm gonna look up some visual references. I'm gonna see if I can. Yeah, I will too. Does it have a th- like? How many eyes does it have? Because I know that, I know that that's a thing with, um, a lot of Lovecraftian, um, monsters. They tend to have like a bunch of eyes. Or like a bunch right, of, a bunch of like everything. So like a bunch of mouths, a bunch of eyes, a bunch of like you know, a bunch of I teeth. Have a, me, all right. I'm gonna think so it's got two eyes, two eyes and sort of like maybe like a like a fish like head. Sort of large and oblong in shape. hmm I and wanna add a, yeah, I wanna add like a bunch of really, really sharp teeth. Yes, teeth and teeth that protrude like out of its mouth and like a yeah in like sort of a sort of a catching sort of shape like it's aiming its teeth almost at this drowning man. Ooh yeah yeah yeah. 
like an anglerfish teeth. It's sort of its teeth sort of shut out of its face. Ooh, speaking of anglerfish, I want to add in a lot of bioluminescent light to it. Yeah, beautiful. So, so, so like if it's swimming by, this person is comprehending a bunch of lights. That might be the first thing he sees. Yeah, yeah. that'll be the first that he sees these these sort of light chasings at the bottom yeah. of the ocean. Oh, I love it. Um, Thor sees these light chasings, and then he sees a little some larger lights, mm. and then he sees like these. And then you might see like these white shapes that are reflecting the light. And as he as he delves further down into the ocean, he starts to realize that the shapes that are reflecting this light that he's going towards are a massive pair of protruding teeth. Oh my god! Shutting out at him. Yeah. As, as he gets closer, the teeth might reflect onto the creature's body. He gets a he gets a view of its of its bright but black skin is this impossibly large creature starts approaching him and he realizes mm-hmm. he's not he's not even sinking anymore this creature is coming towards him it's coming at him he's gone so far into the ocean now he can't see the surface anymore he can't see his boat anymore yeah we need to engage more of the senses so like let's say i know this would be kind of, i don't like i've never really tested this but does he like would he be smelling anything under the surface he could be uh, I don't know if I mm, I don't know if you could smell anything, but he might be hearing something. This is sort of dipping into something I've already I, I, one of, one of my one of my stories I've already written. But he could be hearing what's the, cre- the sound the sound the creature is making. Yeah, the, a horrible ear piercing sound that renders him completely motionless, as if it's attacking. The nervous system. This is if the sound is just attacking his nervous system from the ear down. Oh, so something kind Paralyzed. of like a dog whistle. Yeah, it's paralyzing his body. He can't. He can't swim up. He can't swim away as he's just forced to slowly sink towards this creature with its slowly opening jaws. As it, it doesn't have an anglerfish bulb to attract creatures, but it just paraly- It paralyzes them with its sound as they and the, as they're forced to drown and sink towards its mouth oh this is actually kind of fucking terrifying (laughs) uh okay so what are so we can kind of like just so we kind of have some kind of glimpse of it so what are so i think as this so as our protagonist is approaching or like is slowly being stalked by this creature um what other details should we include so like the temperature of the water does it start like heating up or does it start freezing because i think that could be a really crucial detail i think the water should be freezing cold at first and then as he gets closer to it it starts to become a little bit warmer and a little bit warmer and he can't quite tell what the warmth is but Mm -hmm. then as he gets to this creek as he gets slower as he slowly sinks the water becomes warmer and warmer to the point where it uh, it feels like it's boiling. The water is boiling hot. Mm. But what and this, what he's feeling is this creature is so massive, so gargantuan that its body heat is boiling the water around it. Yeah. And in essence, it cooks its food before it eats it with its own presence. Oh, that's badass. <laughs> yeah. That's sick, Thanks. dude. Um, I think that's it. All right. I kind of don't so want to. I mean, unless there's <laughs> unless there's any other details that you want to add into it, because I've never built a horror monster before. <laughs> I think a fish monster that cooks its prey, that attracts its prey towards it with its lights, paralyzes it with its screams, and then cooks it before it eats it with its own body heat. That's pretty good. That's pretty badass, yeah. I might actually use that. (laughs) (laughs) I hope you do. It sounds sweet. It sounds terrifying. 